it's all very well for organisations to come down and represent them, but what we really think is crucial, not just for this bill, but for the entire movement, is for it to be led by survivors and for survivors to really be at the forefront of it to represent themselves. The Victim Support Bill is currently in the House of Commons. We need to see it pass so that um, victims of modern slavery have a real chance at um, rehabilitation and recovering and moving on with their lives. We know this government's been very committed to modern slavery and that commitment has to also include the provision of services necessary to ensure that victims are able to live a full life like the rest of us can. Bright Future programme can help some survivors rebuild their lives by providing employment opportunities but we do know that there are a whole host of other victims out there who with the support uh, that the Victim Support Bill would provide could potentially move on into employment and rebuild their lives and without that there is a desperate risk of re-trafficking. The co-op is absolutely delighted to be part of this coalition of charities uh, supporting victims of slavery. Co-op members more than 2,000 have lent their voices to this petition um, and we are delighted that we can be part of that movement. Uh, the Home Office needs to take the decision sooner as well. It's not that they should uh, keep supporting them for three years. Like It's like you're waiting for something and waiting hurts more than the actual support. If they can support after the decision is fine, but I think the decision should come sooner because it's too long waiting is just killing our lives more.